Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. It's been a while since I did this video MQTT and M5 stack using UI flow and we used public.mqtthq.com as the broker. We were just publishing this simple topic, basically Shotoku Tech slash ST office slash temp. And it was working. We could actually see the temperature of my office using this MQTTFX console. This is just simply a console that you can point at a broker and subscribe to publish topics at that broker. And so that was working okay. Make sure to watch my previous video to understand what I did in UI flow previously. But now I want to be able to view the temperature of my office in WebThing Gateway. So we're going to go into add-ons and we're going to add the Homey IoT add-on. There we go. Search for it. Click Add. Okay, it's installed now. So let's go search for some Homey IoT things. Homey IoT by default is configured to use public mqtthq.com. So we should be able to find our device pretty simply. We're just going to add new things and this proceeds to scan and try to find any things through any of the add-ons that we haven't already added. This can take quite a while. There we go. We can see ST Office at the very bottom here and I recognize that. So we're going to add that thing. Now in web things, let's go look at our things. There's ST Office, but you see ST Office doesn't really have anything. It has no properties, no value. The temperature isn't displayed. And we know it's showing the temperature in MQTTFX, that console. So we have to learn more about the Homey IoT convention. I've read this a few times and it took a little work to get my head around it. I didn't really understand what these arrows were was trying to figure out, well, what key do I have to push to get these arrows? And then I just realized that that was the direction of the information flow. I probably would have understood it quicker without the arrows, actually, <laughs> for my purposes. So how are we going to express this in UI flow? That's the question. You go to this tool section, and this has the Homey IoT Convention Validator. I worked with this for a little while in Notepad++ and came up with this set of parameters that I think will work. Let's just select all, copy and paste here. And if you validate the code, it looks like it's going to work. Shotoku Tech Office has an M5 stick C01 with a temperature property. Make sure to watch this previous video so that you understand how I got this far in UI flow. So let's go back into UI flow and look at the example code that I built around this. Okay, so let's talk this through here. We set the screen rotation, the font, connect to the Wi-Fi, start MQQT client, and then we're going to get the temperature from the environment hat and do a little magic to make it go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. We're expressing each one of these Homey IoT parameters in UI flow one line at a time as individual topics. So we're publishing topic, Homey 4.0, name is Shotoku Tech Office, etc. Now, let's upload that new code with the Homey IoT convention to the M5 stick C. And you see here in MQTTFX, it's displaying each of these parameters of that Homey IoT convention. And we've subscribed to the temperature attribute and we're seeing the temperature of my office. Let's look in WebThings Gateway now. First of all, we're going to verify the settings again, make sure we have Homey IoT installed and configured. It's using public mqtthq.com by default. So now let's go to things. I'm going to delete that old ST office because it's not doing anything. Easy enough to remove it. And now let's add things. Hey, there's Shotoku Tech. I'm going to add that thing. So you hit save. Okay, 
And here you see the thing is on the main page and I do have a temperature for my office. I'm not quite seeing everything I thought I'd see. If you have any suggestions about this homey IoT convention, leave a comment down below. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video about WebThings Gateway and homey IoT on the M5 Stick C using UiFlow. Thank you very much. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.